Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM Teams, and today I want to show you their brand new Canvas style functionality. Holy smokes, they have just released a very cool code and blog editor, and you can literally edit your code, edit your text, or even ask the AI to go ahead and edit it for you. It's amazing. I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go. All right, so step one is an easy one. Just head over to abacus.ai, link, of course, in the description below, and then click on Chat LLM Teams. When you do that, you get a new screen here, and presto, you can sign in or sign up if you don't have an account. Keep in mind that while I got you here that this is only $10 per user per month, it's half the price of a Chat GPT license, and you get like 100 times more. It's absolutely wild. So there you go. We're going to click on Sign In, now let's get cooking. All right, now we're logged in. The first thing I like to do, I'll head up here to the top and I'm gonna click on this little down triangle. Right now I'm on GPT 4.0 or 4 Omni, but I wanna switch this to Root LLM. Now I have done a full video, which I'll put a link in the description below about Root LLM, but in a nutshell, it is essentially a smart router. So whatever query, whatever prompt you type in here, it will send it to the best large language model or the best tool, depending on what you put in. So there we go. We've got root LLM selected. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the bottom. I'm going to click on editor. And then what I want to do is I want to show you the canvas, but I want to show you how we can create a blog post from a document. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and go to my finder. And when you're in finder, I've got this something called FBS principles of design. So I do a lot of graphic design work. So let's just drag and drop this in. And then all you got to do now is watch this. I'm going to go, I don't know, right a 500 word blog post on this document. I'm keeping it nice and simple. This can be anything you want. I just want to show you how this works. Click on enter, watch this. In a few seconds here, it's gonna load up the new Canvas editor and up it comes, it shoots out perfectly. Now, it's gonna go ahead and write up some content here. It's using placeholder stuff right now because you see these double hashtags. In a second here, it's gonna format that correctly. It just takes a second. And then when this is done, yeah, well, it's already done. I don't have to tell you about it. Look at this here. This is a perfectly formatted blog post. And let me show you what I'm talking about. When I hover over this here, so for example, I'm just going to hover over here and I hover, look at that. It says heading one. So it's already good to go onto your WordPress site, for example, or maybe you've got a HTML, CSS site. You can literally copy and paste it in. If you want to bold it, you want to italicize it, it's all here, literally one click. Additionally, if you want to change things, if you say, hey, a modern approach to visual literacy, but I wanted to say visual design. There, you just type it in. It's done. Like, it literally, you can type directly onto the canvas. It is fantastic. Also, one of the things I like to do, and this is additional, uh, it's kind of outside the scope of this video, but I'll show you very quickly. I'm just going to copy it, and then I'm going to go to my WordPress website, for example. And I've got a new post opened up here, and nothing fancy going on. I just copy and paste it in. And look at that here. It copies and pastes in and it keeps the formatting so it's still in H1. And then I can go ahead and just start working on it here if I so choose. That said, now I wanna show you the coding side of things. This is even more impressive, let's go. All right, so there we go. We took a look at the blogging. We've gone ahead and created a blog post. We can edit it, we can reformat it however we see fit. But now let's look at coding. This is where it really shines. This is fantastic stuff. I've already gone ahead and run an example. But let me show you what I've been doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste in a prompt. I say, great, thanks for making the blog post, but can you create a landing page that reflects these principles? Watch this. I'm going to click on the go button here, and here we go. You'll see here it's routing it to Claude Sonnen 3.5, which, by the way, makes perfect sense because Claude Sonnen 3.5 is fantastic at coding. And then here we go. It's loaded up the canvas, and look at that here. At the top, you'll see we've got doc type HTML. It's correct. It is giving us the code. And you guessed it, when it's done, we can go in and edit it. And then after that, you can paste it into your website or whatever. You got a WordPress site and you can test it as well. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to come back when this is done. It should take a few seconds, show you what we got, and we'll wrap it all up. All right, so that only took a few seconds here. And a quick look here. We're in the code section here. I'm going to show you the preview in a second, but look at this. You know, doc type HTML, HTML language equals English, heading, end heading tags, body tags, paragraph tags fantastic and it's yeah it's done quite a bit of coding wild stuff and if we zoom in here on the left side you can see here it even gives you examples of how it adhered 
to the documentation as to what we asked for. Remember, we had the uh, document that says the design principles. Well, look at this. The landing page demonstrates all the design principles from the lesson, and that's this file right here. Balance, contrast, emphasis, pattern, unity, movement, and rhythm, and explains how it adheres to these design principles. It gets better, though, because you can see down here it says... The design uses a limited color palette to demonstrate how design principles can create visual interest even with color constraints. That's great, but it's the next line that really caught me here. Would you like me to modify any aspects of the design? We can ask the AI, literally, to go ahead and change the design. So let's click up here on preview real quickly here, and you'll see here that it did a great job. I scroll through here. It's done a very modern design, very simple, very basic, right, you know, just good stuff. But maybe we don't want the purple and blue. Maybe we want a different color. Watch this. I'll click back to code here. I'm going to go over to here, and I'm going to be, let's make this a, uh, let's go red and green color style instead. Something like that. I'm just having some fun here. It's Christmas coming up soon, so why not? Here we go. It's going to analyze the document. It's going to go ahead, and it's going to redo this in that color. Here we go. You can already see here that it's routing it to Claude Sauna 3.5. And bam, it's redoing it. And when it's done, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you the new color code, and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. We went ahead and asked for red and green. And look what it says here. It says, change the header gradient from purple indigo to red green. Updated button colors. Modified icon backgrounds. That sounds exactly like what we would have wanted. Let's go ahead and see what happens here and click on preview. And here, okay, we've got exactly what we asked for. How cool is that? And we didn't have to do any coding. We simply asked the AI, the editor, the assistant, whatever you want to call it. It did the work for us. Red and green, cool gradient here, and it has done exactly what we would have wanted. Icons are changed. Backgrounds are changed. Fantastic stuff. And if you really think about it, this just came from a couple of prompts and canvas. We didn't put any code in. We just said, hey, make a web page, and it did it for us. And it even put in the content. Guys, this is what you can now do with chat LLM teams. It is absolutely fantastic. Every week they're releasing new content, new tools, you name it. It's all here, guys. Links in the description below. Give it a try. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.